lineups. Corey Blunt will continue to start, although Robert Ory will play. Rashid with Fox and Trent going on the small side. The Jumbos, Shaquille and Arvidas with Kobe Bryant starting in place of Eddie Jones against Alvin Williams and Van Exel will be in there against Kenny Anderson. So Alvin Williams again getting a chance to show his versatility as he starts at the two here tonight. The officials, Ron Garrison, Rodney Mott, and Ed Middleton, the veteran. There is no fear in Alvin Williams as there is in Kobe Bryant. They play against each other in the summertime. They know each other's game. So this is a good chance for Alvin Williams uh, to get into it early. Good start for the Trailblazers. They win the tap. Alvin Williams just off that rookie all-star game in New York City. Kenny Anderson. Kenny wants to get the Blazers off to a jump start. Misses on the first try. Up come the Lakers. Very good in transition, this team. They like to keep it at a high level. And on two misses, the Blazers push toward the other end. They're going to trap the ball, try to slow Portland down, make them become a perimeter team. Nice play inside for Wallace. How about the look by Arvidas Sabonis? Most folks probably figured him to just launch that shot, but he's a great passer. One of the best I've ever seen is a big man, and he made a beautiful entry, and Rasheed delivers it. Blazers get it, now looking to run a little bit themselves. Fresh legs after the All-Star break. Down to Rasheed, turn around on the way. Won't go for him, but fouled on the play. That is when Rasheed Wallace is his most damaging and effective uh, player. You take a look back at the second play the Trailblazers have and a quick hop inside Wallace over the top with two hands. And uh, whenever he gets a quick hitting opportunity at the offensive end, he puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Corey Blunt draws the foul. His first, their first. Rashid out the line. Bango. Pops the first one home. As Sabas with a tremendous game the other night in L.A. And this season, uh, compared to last season, having his best year as an NBA player. This is his third year over since coming from across the pond. As Wallace misses the second and Shaquille O'Neal, who averages 12 boards a game, gets his first. Blazers showing half-court trap. Fox down to the big hook and ladder. Tries the baseline bounce feed. And Fox will go right down deep again. Corey Blunt passing out to Fox. Normally a pretty good three-shooter. Fox has been doing very well the last few games as far as scoring is concerned. When the Lakers have to play half court, Shaq dominates the game. They're trying to go through him. Portland almost breaks it up. This is the way that you get control of the Lakers, get them to become very predictable about where they want to go at the offensive end uh, when they're slowed down. Kobe Bryant starting for the ill Eddie Jones. Jones had 28 on Wednesday night against the Blazers. Van Exel. Right there at the top of the league in NBA shooters as far as three points attempted. Good idea by Kenny right there to Rashid at the rim. Problem, and it hit the rim. You know, yeah. Rashid needed a little angle to catch it. The ball was right on the nose. Three to nothing, Trailblazers. Crap again. At midcourt, Van Exel. A smallish by NBA standards. Steal, Kenny. Kenny on Van. Kenny to the rack. Kenny has to get his own and does and knocked away by Kobe Bryant. Blazers will reload with 23 on the shot clock. What we've seen early is the Trailblazers are energized. They're more aggressive at both ends of the floor. Shooting percentages haven't reflected it yet. Trent directing traffic. Tells Wallace to go to the block. Draws the double inside Alvin Williams. Right there, too far underneath. And couldn't make it happen. Here's Kobe Bryant. Bryant who is quite a player, about 18 points a game, three rebounds, two and a half assists a night. Blount rebounding. Out to Fox and over to Bryant, and not bashful about taking it to the hole. Nice pass, O'Neal over the top, gets it back, puts it in. Now that's the Lakers' first field goal, and they had to go just about three minutes to, to do it, but every shot uh, was either a perimeter shot or it was challenged by the defense of the Blazers. So, uh, Early in the ball game, Portland more attuned to what they have to do to control the Lakers. Shaquille O'Neal averaging 27 points a game. Gary Trent, a little bailout by Trent, Blount with a rebound. He had 13 boards a week ago Sunday against the Chicago Bulls. 
That was one of his better. He had seven assists, which was a career high for him as well in that game. And Shaquille too deep. Al O'Neal did not have one of his best games against Sabonis when they met Wednesday night in Los Angeles. Arvidas, in the time he was in there, actually outplayed him. And he'll step back and try and pop one. Can't. Fox has got it. They lead by one. Tapped out of there by Sabonis off the miss by Van Exel. See the wrap he's got on that left knee. That left knee is a big pain to him. He's going to have a. It's going to require surgery after the season. Trent. Now the shot selection by both teams has been uh, suspect, and, uh, and and may that be because of uh, the bigness of the situation. Portland wanting to play better than they did on Wednesday. The Lakers wanting to try to dominate as they did on Wednesday. Uh, Corey Blunt picks up the foul on Arvidas Sabonis. Good pass by Rick Fox into. Actually, that was Sabonis into Rick Fox, and then uh, one on the rebound picked up the personal against Sabonis. So Arvidas is foul and Blunt at the line. He misses the first. Corey Blunt is a fellow who has come along nicely for them, developing uh, as a role player, but stepping up and doing a good job. He's 60, now listen to this one, 62% from the floor, 54% from the line. Those close-in shots have really worked out well for him. Corey Blunt averaging 5.5 rebounds a game as a reserve. And so far, the Lakers on the boards have dominated after the Blazers beat them in L.A. by five the other night. Robin Williams with a miss. Nice pass by Trent to Rasheed Wallace. Gary Trent with a sweet rebound and a pass, and Rasheed with a throw down to tie it at five. And the Lakers, who turn it over 14 times a game, turn it over here. Del Harris, a little edgy, but not too bad. It's too early. Only their second turnover. Kenny off the high screen. Sabonis back weak. That's your shoot. Arvidas with his second assist. Blazers with a two-point lead. Every time they double, the Trailblazers are trying to read correctly. That time they have... Wallace slide down in the slot, an easy 15-foot shot for him. He scored all of Portland's points so far. There's the big man. Little hard. Rebound comes off to Portland's Trent. Kenny with a bring up. Kenny looks like he's starting to get a little bit stronger. He's had all kinds of injury problems so far this year. And we'll have a timeout before we continue the Blazers by a pair. It's 7-5 at Paul's place with 6.55 remaining in the quarter. Now you can see, as far as rebounding is concerned, Steve, the Lakers off to a good start there. They are not a great rebounding team, however. They average about 41 a game. The Blazers better at that statistic. In fact, the Lakers as a team are out rebounded by a couple of boards a game. But they're off to a good start here tonight. They missed a lot of shots. <laughs> when you're missing a lot of shots, you know, like Van Exel started off, missed one, got his own rebound, put it back up, missed that one again. They're going to be more rebounds. So uh, both teams have not uh, shot a high percentage here early in the ball game. And I think for the Trailblazers, rebounding is a stronger statistical measure of their success than it is for the Lakers, who usually get high percentage stuff and are only defending uh, rebounders as opposed to getting a lot of offensive rebounds. George Glimp, Kenny with a miss. Trent Strong, blocked by Bryant, tapped away by Blunt, back to Bryant. He's challenged by Rashid and Kenny. And then they throw the ball away, and Alvin Williams is there, but it goes out of bounds, and it'll come back to Portland. Bill Harris has done a nice job with this team. Three turnovers by the Lakers. Now the hot hand is Rasheed Wallace. you got to stay with this guy. He's got a look and score of the ball. He's got nine in the quarter. We may see Robert Ory fairly soon. In fact, Dell just got up, walked down in front of his bench, and right now, 9-5 Blazers, and Rasheed has all of them. And he has four for four going from the floor and one of two at the line. Sabonis with the rebound. That's his second. Kenny! And he tries the deep shot. Didn't hit the iron. Here they come with a man advantage. 
Boy, Van X has been tough in the series this year. Here's Shaquille and Trent with another rebound in the outlet quick to midcourt. See, the Lakers are a little slow getting back themselves, and Portland's got to really continue to push the ball, try to get some early offense. Don't worry about uh, whether the game gets too hectic and frantic up and down. An illegal defensive call against the Los Angeles Lakers there first. 1-7 of 11 on his three ball. So they want to try and keep it out of his hands. There's Sabonis hard. Anderson rebound. Good rebound in traffic and a foul called against the Lakers. This is a very funny game at the offensive end in that only O'Neal and Wallace have had any success in getting field goals. Everybody else has been shut out. Now Robert Ory is coming in, Steve. Van Exel, Racine, Wisconsin. Blazers on an 8-0 run. Fox. Robert Ory. Missed dunk by the big guy after a great move. And Kenny fouled in the backcourt. Robert Ory with a reach in. And the crowd is all over Shaquille O'Neal. This one was going to tear the house down. It was a house truck. And I watched the ball come out of his hands before he can put the cap on it. So uh, it pops free. The Trailblazers are fortunate that he doesn't get the throw down. The crowd responds. Van Exel out of the game. Derek Fisher in. Derek Fisher, the backup 6'1", 200 pounds. A couple of years in the league. Arkansas, a little rock. Kenny takes it to him. Changes Arvidas in the lane. And changed up on the shot by O'Neal. Good defense by Shaq. Kobe Bryant tries to put the move on, but Alvin stays right with him. Nice defense by Alvin Williams. Here's Shaquille with a walk back. And O'Neal now with six, and the Lakers with seven. And the Blazers lead 11-7. Alvin Williams with Kenny away from the ball, trying to square up, and then back screen of the base on Ori to free Rashid coming right to left block. Nice pass. Wow! What a pass by Sabonis. And the throwdown by Rashid Wallace with 11. Now, the, the quickness and, and the fact that Wallace is looking to score has really created a problem for the forwards of the Lakers. And uh, anytime he's getting it that quick, that deep, uh, he's going to get a good chance to score. Rashid has not missed from the floor. Five for five. Kobe Broadway. And he's got it. A little over 19, and he acts like he's been in the league 10 years. That is the first field goal other than Shaquille O'Neal. Kenny Anderson turns it over. Well, the Blazers will turn it over about 17 times a game. That's only their second. Like Dunleavy, got to be uh, not too unhappy with that. Turnovers, as you see, AT&T will provide you all the numbers you need. 13 to 9 is our score. The Blazers with the lead. Brunson, uh, the Brunson burner sitting on the side has really played well against the Lakers in two games. We'll give you those numbers should he get in the game. Robert Ory used to shoot that three a lot. Now they go to Shaq, and Shaq is lighting it up. He's got eight. Apparently doesn't like what uh, he read the day after the game in L.A. You know, Sabonis kind of took it to him while he was in there. It was a pretty even matchup. Anderson, Rasheed. Rasheed and Ori have had some good matchups. That is Alvin for three. Over Derek Fisher, a smaller man. Alvin just rose up over him in 16-11. Blazers, Alvin with three in the game. Ryan entry to Shaquille. Hook checked away by Sabonis to Alvin. Tries to walk away from the crowd. Knocked out of bounds by the Los Angeles Lakers. Well, Alvin Williams has deceptive speed and showed it right there as he blew uh, into a small seam, couldn't control the ball, but to be able to get to that little piece of daylight uh, shows he's a lot quicker than advertised. Kobe Bryant out of the ball game. John Barry in. So John Barry, who normally wouldn't be in at this juncture, moving up on the rotation because Eddie Jones is out with the flu. Another one of the Rick Barry signs, and Alvin Williams, who practiced that shot for an hour before the game, running off that screen, got that little pop and hit it. Derek Fisher fouled by Alvin Williams as he made a good move through the lane and the foul called on him. 18-11, the Trailblazers by seven. And Fisher will go to the stripe. Lakers as a team, 68%, but a 
lot of that because Shaquille O'Neal does not do well at the line, 49 percent. This little guy, Fisher, 75 percenter and a personal find of Jerry West's. So be interesting to watch him develop throughout his career. This is the first. Lakers strong as you can see points and field goal shooting percentage. Opponents field goals not good. The Blazers are number three in the league in that category by the way. Fisher makes the second. Well, O'Neal is down and Elton Campbell in the ball game. Well, let's see if the X Factor does something against the Trailblazers here in the first quarter. Campbell played well when he is featured. Uh, you know, he's a guy that has a tendency to drift. Arvidas told Alvin, go back door, I'll get you the ball. And Rasheed keeps it live, Trent right there, baby. Gary, Trent off the tap by Rasheed. And those two forwards are working extremely hard here in the first quarter. And Trent's got a pair, 20 to 12, Portland. Well, they're really doing a nice job in there. Sabon is looking to be the passer in the game so far. Fox, he can do a lot of that. He really likes it either straight out on top or from the corner. And he's got his first three of the game. They are a good three-point shooting team, 35%. Machine still has a pitch. Machine Wallace just bombed one from outside. He's got 13. And six for six from the floor. That's hot stuff, Steve, with a minute and 51. As unusual as this game has been, and two players have found a good offensive rhythm, Rasheed Wallace is leading the way for Portland. 22 15, timeout Blazers. We're back, and so are the Blazer dancers. Speed high wire Wallace coming right up. With a big first quarter, Kelvin Cato is in. And the SWAT man trying to get the ball tapped back and does to the wrong fella. Rick Fox on the base on the jam by Robert Ory. 22-17 Trailblazers, Ory with his first two. Now the Lakers have what they consider more of a defensive unit after on the floor, so the Trailblazers really should try to attack this team at the offensive end of the floor, right in the ball game. First look at JR. On the pass back, there's Kenny. Kenny Anderson. And he spooned up, baby, right over the top. That was a beauty. He's ladled at home. He's got four of the Blazers now leading at 24 17. And the most uh, effective offensive player is Elvin Campbell. Let's see if the Lakers look to him or you got everybody else going on their own. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Confusion at the Laker end. Fisher, John Barry was really muscled up from when he came into the league and he misses. And the SWAT man with the rebound. Kenny, push up, Riders first shot. And Ori with a rebound. Pretty good pace so far in this game, and the officials have let them play. So you get an idea, unlike the game in LA when it was very sporadic. Blazers, good defense. Cato, Kenny, Cato. They took it away from Fisher off the overplay. Kelvin Cato with a pair, and the Blazers 26 to 17. The Trailblazers see that this trap is affecting the Los Angeles Lakers, and so uh, they're more energized. Elvin Campbell misses the throwdown, but Kelvin Cato will get the foul. Swat man trying to knock it away. And step into the foul line will be Ori. Sometimes uh, an embarrassing game wakes you up, and it appears that the Trailblazers have gotten the wake-up call. They have been the aggressors here in the first 12 minutes of play. Elvin Campbell's first trip to the line. Not Ori, Elvin Campbell. As you can see, pretty good numbers, but he has been the subject of a lot of criticism because of his up-and-down play. The Lakers would really like to see some consistency out of him. Well, he's been good, and we've seen him against the Blazers when he's been terrific. He's a good talent. Again, you have to accept what he is. He's a player that uh, uh, has inconsistent moments. Uh, he's better when he is uh, featured and, and can work his way into a game. When he's not, you're never sure. Can he answer? Lock takes it back, puts it up and in. That's schoolyard stuff, and Kenny did it well. There's the back. And a great defensive effort at the buzzer. Rasheed throws it back into the crowd. And the Blazers to the end of one with a 10-point lead. Great effort in the first quarter, 28-18.
course that the Trailblazers have ridden to an early lead, but it's been quick hitting plays for Rasheed Wallace that have set the tone for the Trailblazers. And whenever he gets the ball that deep and works very quickly, he gets very positive results. And I, I think that he's beginning, to, excuse me, to understand how important his offensive contribution is to his team's success. All right, the Lakers inbound the ball against full court pressure by Portland. This is the same unit that the Lakers finished with, and Dell Harris is trying to uh, get these guys to get his team going. You can't let Derek Fisher come into the heart of the defense like that and expect them not to gain a lot of confidence. Kobe Bryant will check back into the Lakers lineup, and Rick Fox will go out, so Kobe will go up in a small forward position with John Barry and Derek Fisher and AT&T Wireless. In the first quarter here tonight, the Lakers, the Blazers, much better against the Lakers in L.A. the other night, as you saw, not quite as well. And Fisher on a three-point play. 28-21. Blazers by that many. Three-pointer took a little bit of sting out of it for the Lakers. Now the secret in the first quarter was Portland moving the ball, moving people quickly at the offensive end, and then attacking the Lakers defensively, confusing them. They go to print down low against the double team. Gee, that was a tough shot. Over the double team, Robert Ory, who's 6'10". Gary Trent, who's a short 6'8". Closer to 6'7". As Ory, or uh, Campbell, all the way down the lane. Good driving move by Campbell, and it looks like the Lakers are under orders from Dell to try and get the ball inside, take it to the basket more, see if they can break that press. Well, against the trap, there are holes in the seam. Kobe Bryant's going to need help inside against Trent. They're going to get a foul. They give this one to Kobe, Kobe Bryant. Bryant. Yeah, it's, that's Bryant. a handful for him. Let's see how he fares against uh, the bigger, stronger Gary Trent. 30-23, to 23, Trailblazers with the lead. Kobe's first, their first here in the second quarter. Wallace gets his first breather. Vince Nasty comes in the ball game. So uh, the hot shooter for the Trailblazers is down, and that means Ryder and Anderson now will have to pick up their offensive energy. Vince Nasty only a couple points a game, but his biggest cut 23. Kobe Bryant, Ryder overplaying Fisher, and they uh, challenge him with two men in the backcourt. Now they break it loose. And Ryder will play on Kobe. Campbell will draw a Kelvin Cato. Borey will be challenged by Gary Trent, who's got another rebound. That's his sixth. And Ryder tries to save and throws it along the side to the Lakers. Barry is a spot-up shooter. Hasn't found the range and finally connects on that three. Doesn't get a lot of time. What a productive family in terms of turning out basketball talent. Every one of those boys in the Barry family has turned out to be a good player. Barry and DeBreeze, but uh, John Barry and of course Brent Barry with the Clippers back in action. A starter. A dry heave by Gary Trent, his second of the night. Now everybody's saying it got tipped, but the officials and the Lakers are walking the other way, so uh, an air ball for Gary Trent. 32-26, Blazers' biggest lead, 10. Fisher, the Lakers love to launch the three ball. Now to Eldon Campbell, challenged by Cato. Too deep. And there's one thing that Cato is going to have to learn, and he will as he matures physically. You cannot get that big guy down there and allow him to get too deep. Almost a steal by Barry. Askew, back to Ryder. Blocked and fouled by Robert Ory. This has cut the lead to four for ten. Lakers trying to pick up at the defensive end, trying to get Portland one to shoot the ball quickly from the outside and out of what their offensive set was in the first quarter and have gate the Lakers trailing in the game. Bennett played 12 minutes, had six points in that game, Steve. Knocked away by Askew, picked up by Alvin. Trent. Good move, put the ball on the floor, fouled on the play. Uh, those are difficult moves for Gary Trent, e even though they're close, and that's not, that's not his money. You watch, he's not a pastry man, as you like to call him, Eddie, but he has to make an adjustment right there, doesn't quite get the finish. 
but from up top, you can see he's putting some pressure on the defense of Bennett and Kobe Bryant. He tried some French pastry, and they weren't buying. 33-28, Blazers by five. Good start if the Blazers can keep up this tempo. They uh, would certainly be entertaining throughout this game. Blazer goals, Jim. They combine with the hoop skills for the boys and girls, 6 to 15, February 16th. Call the register, 797-962. Out if he keeps it much longer. 35-28 makes both free throws. Good concentration by Gary Trent. Now six in the quarter for Trent. He's the Blazers' leading scorer in the quarter. Blazers 8 of 10 at the line as a team. Fisher off a high screen and he hits it. Fisher is a kind of guy that, that is streaky, and if you let him get an offensive uh, rhythm and confidence, he can hurt you. Noted primarily for his defense. He's got six points. Blazers break the heat. And Alvin going a little quick. Swat man with a tap. And a rebound foul called against Calvin Cato against Mario Bennett. Well, that's the second on Cato with 8.59 to play here in the second quarter. Gary Trent will go out. Blazers have Cato, Ashley, and Jermaine O'Neal now in the wall game. Along with Alvin Williams, and they'll get Cato out and bring him to the Well, Campbell gave him a nice little spurt. O'Neal uh, got a rest, uh, so coaches uh, see their featured centers come back at the same time. Sabonis so will challenge Shaquille O'Neal. Frat by the Trailblazers. That's a lot of beef on the hoof in the middle these two guys bring, and now Derek Fisher calling the foul. A 22nd time out called. Go left. Good oh. steal. Oh, that's going to be a foul. <laughs> he almost took half the body off and tried to make the steal, and uh, the whistle was late, but uh, Derek Fisher and the Lakers get the call. Ron Garretson, son of Daryl Garrido with good defense, and the block out. And Alvin on the pass, there's Vincent Askew, and he's fouled by Kobe Bryant. Well, the Lakers having problems trying to get back Lakers in transition. Running teams don't like to be run on, and that's what Portland is exposing tonight. Second personal foul against Kobe Bryant. But a quick transition will always keep the defense on their heels. Bryant never had a chance to get set. Took a little punishment on the way, a little shot in the jaw. Kobe Bryant, the number one scoring reserve in the NBA, getting a starting call tonight because Eddie Jones is out with the flu. It's a big loss for them. Of course, Bryant Grant still out for the Trailblazers. Now Van Exel will come back in, and out of there will go Fisher. Fox came in at the same time, so uh, Barry's out with Fisher. 36-30, Portland. Vincent Askew, club lines run home. He looks like he's shooting darts up there at the line. There's Van Exel against the pressure. Van Exel leads the NBA in assisted turnover ratio, so he does not make a lot of mistakes. Out near midcourt, Blazers have him pinned down. Now, but see how the Trailblazers defense has the Lakers so far away from the hoop. And when that happens, they really become O'Neal oriented. Miss free throw, I mean, a miss a rebound attempt. Jermaine gets the ball. Shaquille grimacing at the other end. And here's Arvidas, and the bonus taking advantage of no Shaquille O'Neal in transition. Lays it in and is fouled by Mario Bennett. Ryder with the deep shot. Sabonis coming in from the rear. It gets Bennett uh, to get him across the arms and the body. So Sabonis. First attempt at the free throw line, but Portland right now, uh, the dominant team in the first half of play, as uh, the Lakers and Dell Harris searching for the formula in and out with players. Boy, they sure are. And the Lakers now, Steve, with 7.56 to play in the half, have committed their fifth team foul. So over the limit, penalty time. Blazers at the line, they have three team fouls, and Arvidas makes good on it. And Portland again by 10. First point for the evening for Arvita Sabonis with that three-point play. Defense rotates. They try and go O'Neal on the baseline. Spins, moves. Foul call on the play. Shot won't go. Boy, that's a quick move by a 320-pounder, I'll tell you. That is some move by Shaquille O'Neal. Well, O'Neal spins in, and he has Sabonis off balance, and he's going to come right back in. The crowd doesn't like it because they feel that he bullied his way. But Arvidas never got a chance to get set on this play. Tried to bail out and draw the foul. Didn't happen. 
Two fouls against Arvidas, four fouls against the Trailblazers. For whatever reason, Shaquille O'Neal not as popular as a lot of people would like to think that he might be. Well, against the Blazers last Wednesday, uh, he built on his pop uh, popularity. Uh, and uh, the, the thing was, uh, he's got a pretty good ovation here tonight as, as, as he was introduced. Uh, got both of his free throws. O'Neal was one for nine from the foul line in that game against the Blazers last Wednesday. Look out, Jermaine. Back to Ryder. Jermaine goes to the block. There he is. Nice pass by Arvidas. And there's something that Jermaine may learn that you got to be quick. Get the ball and go back up or make a fake because the pass was right there at the hoop and a foul against Rick Fox. The problem for Jermaine right now is he's a little dunk happy and, and he wants to dunk this one so bad that he doesn't really make the catch. He's wide open, uh, but in his anxiety to get a throw down, doesn't control the ball. Jermaine O'Neal, not a good free throw shooter. But he makes the first one and the Blazer lead is nine. Jermaine coming in 40% at the foul line. Another area of that him sure he'll work on this offseason. And this is the second. Those are important. Concentration foul line. 41-32. The Trailblazers with 725 remaining in the first half. Trying to get a little spin and a dunk for uh, O'Neal, and Sabonis does a good job of staying in front. Seven on the shot clock. This is the side of the floor that O'Neal has his biggest uh, trouble at the offensive end. He doesn't like to be on that right side. Ryder, you get to get going. Nice pass, looked to dish off, and it was stolen away by Oil. Ryder was right there in a crowd, but uh, a lot of hands up. There's Van Exel. Wow, tough shot over Alvin Williams. And the fellow who leads the league in three points attempted as his first three points of the game. And remember, he has been just a dominant figure against the Blazers in the first two games. The other end, Portland trying to get it back. Jermaine with a layover. And they get two back, and it's 43 35. Trailblazers, Jermaine with three. Jermaine getting some good minutes here in the first half. Fox to Ori, travel, and they gave it to him. Can't have that. Uh, Ori is very good when he can get a little bit of movement. He's going to throw it down over the top. First two of the night for second. No, First points of the second quarter for Robert Orr. Going to the basket, ask you, dish off, jam, throw down. Jermaine O'Neal. He's got five. 45-37. And the trap, or they're leaving O'Neal open, and O'Neal now trying to at least get an idea of where he can help his team to stand around the basket, down in the slot, offensive rebounding and looking for putback. Rick Fox inside to Kobe Bryant. Nice move, comes up short. Ori with a touch pass to Jermaine. Blocked by Arvita Sabonis. Ori tries to throw it back up there and a foul call on the play. We'll have a timeout. Tell you about the foul and more when we come back. 45-37, Trailblazers with a lead. Askew has contributed nicely the last few weeks. 47-38, five and a half and ticking. Van Exel from the basket, comes up short. We're getting to the hoop and we're missing some plays around the rim and now a foul called against Kenny Anderson. Now Van Exel is very, very difficult to guard whenever he gets isolation. A little hesitation, stop and go, he's at the rim. Kenny didn't think that they got him. Watch the change of pace and he's by Anderson coming in and Kenny reaches across, gets him on the arm. Van Exel at the line. So Nick Van Exel, 77% foul shooter. Makes the first. Van Exel, a left-hander like Kenny. Van Exel with that bad knee, but he's been relatively quiet this year. He's had problems with his coach in the past, but this year been a good guy. He, he vowed over the summer that it was more important uh, to play basketball, have fun, than it was to disagree with the coach. The coach is the coach. He can let him do his job and uh, not worry about whether they're always in agreement about how he does his job. Makes both free throws, 47-40. Van Exel played at the University of Cincinnati. Ryder on the post up on Kobe. Ryder, Ryder has yet to get into this ball game. There's a tough shot that goes to him. That might get him going. Boy, he had to jackknife that jump shot to get it there, too. 49 to 40. Blazers by nine. But, but, 
But for the most part, Eddie, the Trailblazers have had the Lakers setting up through the first uh, about 20 minutes of play, and that's why they've been able to control the game. Foul against the bonus. That'll be number three. That's what it is. Arvidas checked him that time before he got down deep enough and before he got his move and his shot away. So the shot to the foul comes at a point where he doesn't get the two. He'll go to the line and try and earn two. And we all know what that can be. That's an adventure for this guy because he is a 49% foul shooter. Bonus coming out of the ball game. Cato comes back in, and the, the difference, of course, is uh, the size. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal, the leading field goal percentage uh, uh, maker in the NBA. Most of them come deep into the paint. Uh, he's improved his assortment of low post moves to go along with his favorite throwdown, the dunk, the power dunk. I mean, it is a power job too. Wallace down to Ryder. Got solo action on Bryant. And as he tries to take him inside and post him a foul called on Kobe. And the kids got three. A quick move by Ryder before the double team can arrive. And then Kobe Bryant is saying, well, where's my help? I think what Kobe's got to learn to do is not allow a player like Ryder to get that good deep post position. Kobe Bryant, his teammates call him Showboat. And he's not done a lot so far here tonight. Relatively quiet, but there's a long way to go in this one. Ryder with a pair, and the Blazers by nine. Four and a half in the half. Five for JR. Van Exel checked defensively by Kenny Anderson and a timeout call by Del Harris and the Los Angeles Lakers. The team with the second best winning record in the NBA. 34 and 11. They trail by 10. Lakers in a half court set, uh, and whenever they can, push the ball quickly to the other end. Coming to Shaquille O'Neal, too deep. That'll count. And that's where they're going, down to the big guy, and he's got 13. And the problem for Cato was he never really got a chance to, to, to get a good position. They ran O'Neal down from the top of the free throw line, and... Uh, Got him the ball very quickly to fade away. Now a chance for a three-point play. So the Lakers are going to ride the horse to try to keep him close. Man, that's a rebound and a miss. And Rasheed Wallace, the high wire act, goes up and brings it down. Swat Matt steps up in the post against Robert Orr. There's Askew. They'll give him all the room he wants to make the shot. And on the pass, Aaron picked up by Rick Fox. But it was a good idea, but there was really no angle, and the Lakers get a turnover. One of the problems that you have right now for the Blazers is that you have good people out there, but two of them really not known for their scoring the game. So you limit yourself a little bit in terms of offensive production. And the Lakers show trap, and uh, this is where Portland's got to remain aggressive. Don't become a passive team. Attack that trap. I want to Cato down low. Last oh. shot by Ori. Fox coming up, and they're starting to make a cut into the lead. Fox, Barry, Lob O'Neal. And Barry and the Lakers looking to get it down to the big guy with Arvita Sabonis out of there. Nine. Nine, Nine in the quarter. quarter. 17 in the game for Shaquille O'Neal. With a big hook and ladder in the middle. She's got the rebound back. back. That's the swat man, and Kenny has it knocked away. Here's Van Exel. Blazers not trapping as much as they were early. 52-47, Portland. Rick Fox, Lee Malone, down to O'Neal. Good spin move, and there it is. Missed the easy one inside. Kenny for three. And Cato with a rebound. And Kelvin Cato draws the foul out of Robert Ory. It's a third foul against Ori. The Lakers trying to be more physical in the last three or four uh, possessions, and Portland has to respond by moving the ball, moving people quicker. Don't allow guys getting in your way to throw you off. Cato wanted that one to go. Have a chance for a pair of free throws. Well, they get Ori out of the game. The Lakers come back now with Corey Blunt. 
Edo with five rebounds here in the ball game at the foul line. A little hard. Swat man had a pretty good game uh, in that rookie game. Steve, he didn't do too badly, did he? He got a chance uh, to be a little frisky, run up and down a little bit, and uh, had himself a good time. Really happy that he got uh, a chance to get into the, uh, the rookie game. He's got three points, made one of two. Six point lead, two and a half in the half. Nick Van Exel, Shaquille O'Neal, Nick Fox, John Perry, and Corey Blank. And the Glaciers deflect the entry pass. Kenny. Kenny splits the D all the way to the rack, and he's got a pair. And they outlet quickly to Van Exel with Shaquille O'Neal setting in inside low on Cato. Well, they've been primarily going into Shaquille. He's been having a lot of easy chances real close. He's got 11 in the quarter. 19 in the game. 55-49, back to a six-point lead. Lighter on Barry. Draws the double, there's a man free, and there he is. And Vincent Askew can't get it to go, and here they come. And it's a... Oh. O'Neal. O'Neal is just laying down in the slide, and whenever something goes wrong, uh, in terms of the trailblazer defense, he's been able to take advantage of it. They're looking for him 13 in the quarter, four-point lead. Now, one of the things that's changed here is Rasheed Wallace. He had 13 points in the first quarter. Nice shot for two for Ryder. Wallace has only had one point here in the second quarter. But he hasn't been looking to score the ball. And they have to get him back into that scoring mentality. Neil. That thing was just uh, trying to fight its way out of here, but he's got 23 in the game and 15 in the quarter. Neil needing four more points to reach the 10,000 career point total. Oh, this is going to check into the ball game. Well, they'll try anything on O'Neal. He might as well use up some fouls. Illegal defense call against the, the Lakers. That's their second, Steve, so... We'll give Ryder a chance to shoot the free throw on the technical, and the Blazers will get the ball back with 49 seconds to play here in the first half. Slowly but surely, Ryder trying to, to get an offensive rhythm. He's got seven, uh, looking for eight uh, with this free throw. These will all be in the quarter. 57, 53, add one. And there he is, Alton Lister. This veteran's been around a long time. He's got all the tricks, even though the body might be not be uh, quite as willing as it once was. He still has a bunch of tricks. 16-year guy, seven feet tall and 250 pounds. What he has and Cato doesn't have is at least some strength and know-how of how to play bigger, stronger guys. Uh, a short spurt for him, 49 seconds left before the half shows up. J.R. Ryder. And Fisher, who just came in, gets and goes to Van Exel. So they have two point guards and John Barry in there. And Wallace with a bumping foul out near midcourt. Both teams in the penalty situation. So he picks up his first. Uh, Wallace was surprised by the quick spin of Van Exel. He was coming over to trap, never really got a chance to... Uh, get himself set, picks up his first foul, but that puts Van Exel and the Lakers back on the line. Steve, this has got to be some kind of season record for the Blazers. They've attempted 20 free throws in the second quarter. 20 in the second quarter. And made 16 of them. Uh, you know, one, they got into the third year, and they've been in an attacking mode since that time. Van Exel, a terrific game against Portland before the All-Star break. Lister out very quickly. Alvin Williams in, and Portland will try to try to trap uh, after they get a quick opportunity with 32 seconds to go. Van Exel both the free throw. Now they've cut the lead to three from 10. Kenny and Wallace. J.R. Ryder, Gary Trent, and Alvin Williams are on. As Kenny spins into the double. Rasheed with a deep shot. No, and there to come the Lakers. Looking to run so the Blazers can't set up in that trap. Now they'll work for a solo shot. With the time running out, you see it. Lower right-hand corner of your TV screen. Want to see a blazer vision? Van to Fisher. 
See, they, they got a chance to run out of and trap. Now they're forcing them away. Shot clock at one. Long shot by John Berry, and it's a dry heave to end the first half. So the Blazers hang on, but barely a three-point lead at halftime. Portland Trail Blazers 58, the Los Angeles Lakers 55 at the half. We'll go back to the week before the All-Star break and review some of the good. Uh, Nick Van Exel, who incidentally was the only member of the All-Star squad on either side who was not a number one draft choice. Here he is with the ball, and immediately the Blazers go to the trap. Up to Ori with Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, and Rick Fox. Oh, Look out. Right away, they get a foul as O'Neal will be fouled by Rasheed Wallace. The concern for Mike Dunleavy here is that the Trailblazers get to the ball earlier. They don't get to Ori soon enough, and that allows him to find Shaquille O'Neal out on the baseline. Wallace's second personal foul as Dunleavy is talking to him right now. There's a guy the Trailblazers need to keep in the game in order to be able to pull off a victory tonight. Gary Trent, Rashid, and Arvidas up front. Boy, the two forwards were magnificent in the first quarter. Trent on the boards and Rashid at the offensive end. Ryder starting here in the second quarter. Kenny Anderson and Arvidas Sabonis in one of two for Shaquille O'Neal. Incidentally, he does not lead the Lakers in free throws attempted, but he's missed a lot of games, 22 games. Kobe Bryant at this stage leads, but O'Neal gaining on him quickly. J.R. Ryder. Inside our, to uh, Rasheed Wallace. Draws the double back to Arvita Sabonis. And Fame the rolls home the honey. A scoop to the hoop by the big guy from across the big C. If there's an area where Wallace has improved it and his patience in finding someone available for a pass, nice feed. This is going to be another foul against Rasheed. And, and, and these are the kind of fouls that Rasheed can't afford to get. Huston trying to rotate back out. Gets a piece of Rick Fox, so now he's got three. The, the Lakers really helped make that happen. When they moved the ball back across the floor to the open man, Fox, Rashid had to go back to his man, and Fox, a veteran, saw him coming. He just waited, jab step, went around. Rashid was caught and had to reach and foul. Look at the Blazers trying to hustle to the open man. Rick Fox on the miss. Arvidas is shoved inside. He's got his fourth rebound. Average is 10 a game. Well, one thing the Trailblazers don't want to do, even though the game has gotten physical, uh, start looking in the direction of the officials. Just continue to play. Ryder knocks down a three. Ryder enjoying his best season. He's got 11 off the bench. Van Exel and the miss. Arvidas. Outlet midcourt Ryder. Ryder the other night. 15. Fox with a foul. Trent to the line. And the Blazers trying to stretch it out a little bit here and could go to 10 up on the Lakers early in the third. Quick push and uh, Rick Fox says he tripped over the line as he tried to pull up, but this is the way to put pressure on the defense. Advance the ball very quickly. And Trent will have a chance for a three-point play. Blazers beat the Lakers back here on December 8th at the Garden. They won that game 105-99 and on that night, it was Isaiah Ryder with 26 points on 10 for 19 from the floor. Gary Trent makes the three-point play, and the Blazers lead by 10 again. Just underway, however, in the third. He's got a lot of time. And a whistle. Second time out. Yeah. Del Harris has used all his 20s, so he can scratch those out. You get one per team per half. If you don't use the one in the second half and go to overtime, you can carry it forward. 66 to 56 is what we have. And so far, Blazers doing a lot of good things here tonight, Steve Jones. I, I think you know, what's most impressive about them is that uh, they're carrying their energy from one end of the floor to the other. And uh, when you're playing against a, a team of the quality of the Lakers, uh, you really got to bring that competitive edge and fire and we've seen it so far uh, in the first half of play and here at the start of the second. 66-56 when they whistle the play dead. 21 remained on the shot clock. Blazers currently on an 8-0 run. Amazing again going back to a point we brought up and that is the Blazers making 16 out of 20 free throws attempted in the second quarter. 20 free throws attempted in a quarter. 
All right, Colby inbounds to Nick Perrin. Fox. Bumped by Rashid. Give it to O'Neal. Challenging the big guy. Uh-uh. Rebounds. Sabonis is third of the half. Sixth of the game. Lakers watches the Blazers try and push. Kenny draws the double. Ryder out near midcourt played by Kobe Bryant. And Bryant has picked up another foul, putting his hands on J.R. Ryder. Bryant is saying, let me play, give me a chance to get into this ball game. But sometimes you don't adjust to the official's whistle. That's what's happening for Kobe Bryant. He's going to have to sit down. And the whistle has kept him in action. Four fouls for Kobe. Watch a quick move. This is a little bit of a hand check, but you can't put your hands on him. And uh, Ryder sees a, uh, an adversary go to the bench. And now a chance to work against John Bear. Sabonis passes on the shot, goes to Trent, knocked out of bounds by Robert Ory. Blazers were loaded up with 13 seconds on the shot clock and 9.57 to play in the third quarter. When Portland has success against the trap, it's because they don't hold the ball. When they hold it, they have a tendency uh, not to be able to find the passing lane, get themselves in trouble. Trent, great pass, it's a bonus to Trent. And there's where you get the cutting action from the opposite side. You do that, Sabonis finds you, it's money in the bank. 13 for Trent, Arvidas and the Blazers lead by 12. That's their biggest lead of the game. Now O'Neal says get it back, I don't want to trap him. Double team by Rashid and Sabonis. O'Neal knocks over Sabonis, and Arvidas has got his acting down pretty good tonight. As soon as he drew the contact from the 320 pound with Eamos, he went down. They forced the ball to go back outside. Rick Fox puts it on the floor, and O'Neal just turns, puts the forehand in, in, into the chest. Sabonis, a little bit of Hollywood. Well, the Oscars are coming up. Kenny counters in the other end. Kenny's got 10, Blazers by 14. Now the Lakers start the third quarter as they did in the first, with only one point here in the first three minutes of play. They come back to Shaq. Knocked away by uh, Ryder. Gee, what a block by Ryder on O'Neal. Five on the shot. Clock. John Barry starts his thrust. Looks for O'Neal on the delay, and he's fouled on the play. And Gary Trent said, hey, I got all ball. Little Ron. Ron Garrison coming into the picture. John Barry was in trouble. O'Neal bailed him out, and Trent thought he was a ghost. <laughs> Didn't get any of them, and that's the same kind of foul that Rick Fox had at the other end. So, first foul against Gary Trent, third team. What the Trailblazers don't want to do at this stage while the Lakers are struggling with their offensive rhythm. Give them some free throws. Give them a chance to stay in the ball game. Shaquille O'Neal not blocked a shot in the game yet, and he's number six in the league. Almost three per. Blazers right now on a 12 0 run. This has been big for him here in the third. Now, Ron Garrett's is saying, Give me the ball. You only got 10 seconds. Are you supposed no, to let him know? Is there a blood death? They're making some sort of substitution down, and I think it's a blood move. It is blood. Robert Horry being tended to by Gary Vitti, the fine trainer of the Los Angeles Lakers. They started Horry and. Uh, Blunt will replace him. Blunt, incidentally, Steve, maybe a, it's hard to believe, but he's playing on a torn tendon in his right ankle. Oh, there's a rebound on a missed shot by Shaquille O'Neal. Seven boards for Arvita Sabonis. 14 point lead, Portland. A lot of time. 844 from the end of the third. Shuttle it inside to the large one. Tries to hit, hook it up, knocked away, picked up by Blunt, stolen back by Rasheed Wallace and Kenny. They steal it back again, and Nick Van Exel lays it in. Well, if they can pickpocket, you're in the crowd here tonight. That's good reaction by both teams, and uh, the Lakers fortunately won out on that particular exchange. 70 to 58. Blazer lead 12. Come on, the big guy. Hey! Wins a honey. He touches them all. That's a four bagger, even though you only got three. He's got eight, plays the lead 15, 73-58.
Nick Van Exel with a leader. O'Neal with a rebound over the back of Gary Trent. Give it to the big guy. Shaquille O'Neal with a loose ball foul. He's got three. And they have three. And Trent gets his body on him. O'Neal tries to come around in front. A little push in the back of Sabonis is where the official makes the call. So Sabonis, so with a little bit of acting again, gets two calls in his favor here early against Shaquille O'Neal. Well, the Oscar nominees are in, and there may be a late ad here for Arvidas. Kenny, Kenny to the big wonder. Now they know that Shaq is not going to come out. Now they're going to get a loose ball foul. This is going to go against Steve Wallace. That is his fourth. So he got a cluster of them right here at the top of the period. That's going to take him out of the ball game and Jermaine O'Neal in. Three fouls against Rashid here in the third quarter. And so they're going to bring young Jermaine in the game. Both guns loaded. Let's see what he comes up with against Corey Blunt. And Kenny defending on Van Exel. O'Neal and Arvidas. There's Van Exel with a tough bailout. Shaquille, no, nope, that's Jermaine O'Neal. No relation to the other guy. Ryder, hey, what a beauty. Came roaring through the lane, slicing through a, looked like a man with a Vegematic going through a cucumber. And laid it up off the glass for a deuce. And the Blazers by 17. Time out, L.A. And uh, has a lot of concern for Dale Harris. Uh, he's wasted a couple of timeouts trying to get his team to energize themselves defensively. But the Trailblazers have been the aggressors at the offensive end. And uh, everything is going for them here in the first five minutes of the quarter. Pressure on, length of the floor. They've got Van Exel trapped. John Perry in the game, gets to Fox. He attacks, they allow him to get too deep. And it's Corey Blunt that picks it up. Sabonis has got a big rebound in traffic. Wrap around to Kenny, up ahead. That was intended for Gary Trent, but uh, Georgie Murasan couldn't have gotten that one. O'Neal lost it, tries to pick it up. Ryder's got it, the easy man with the ball. Half speed, looks, pull up, jump pass. Oh, Sabonis. No, Jermaine. Knocked away by the other O'Neal. Hey, he got a foul. Four on Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal with three fouls in the quarter, four in the game. Good recognition again of a of a, a player cutting to the basket. This time, Ryder sees Sabonis and Jermaine O'Neal again uh, learning where he can help his team stay on the glass, picks that one up, and uh, Shaq will have to sit down with four. So, O'Neal, Ryan, big offensive players for the Lakers on the bench here in the third quarter. Both teams have four team fouls. And Shaka uh, Jermaine O'Neal getting some big time minutes here tonight, makes the second after missing the first. Houston Rockets are here on Friday. Fox at the other end and a late whistle call and a foul against Arvita Sabonis. That'll be his fourth. Well, this, this, uh, this call here prompted a reaction from Mike Dunleavy like he wanted to jump ball, but Rodney Mott, the young official, and I'm hearing good things about him, Steve. I get the word that this is a pretty good young guy. Makes the big call and puts on Arvidas with four fouls. Dunley, he's got to make a decision. He, I'm not sure that he's aware that Sabonis has four, but, uh, you know, uh, Sabonis has a good rhythm going here in the quarter. Uh, after having a slow offensive start, he's going to have to go back to the bench. 642 left. Fox gets both of the free throws. The Lakers in a drought this quarter, only five points so far. Now he missed one, so that makes Four. it 76-59. Blazers. Nice pass. Kenny Anderson, Gary Trent. Feels that ball and lays it in. And the Blazers lead is 19. 78-59. And uh, six assists for Kenny, who averages a little over five a game for the year. 
And the Trailblazers can't stop working. And, uh, you know, the Lakers are a team that can explode for big numbers. Eldon Campbell now gets a chance to go solo with Shaq on the bench. He gets his first two in the third. And Arvidas not able to get too close. Now they pin Kenny down, and they go to Arvidas. Drop lead feed for Kenny. Yes, sir. Kenny Anderson with his 12th. And the Blazers shooting the ball extremely well. At one point in this quarter, they were 88%, making seven of their first eight. Well, there's been quick ball movement and uh, getting into the seams of the defense to get themselves a chance to get easy opportunities. Rebound Anderson. Kenny against Nick Van Exel. Ryder comes out to balance it off. They go deep to Trent, who wants to back down on Fox. Now, most of the time when it's gone low, they double team. Fox gets him the ball, and he's in the open court. And Fox with an easy roll to the hoop, but now it's 80 to 63, a 17 point lead. <laughs> Gary Trent, uh, if he has one fault, is that when he puts the ball on the floor, he draws the defense, and he's, that's really not his strong suit. Ryder, my, is that a deep three? Oh my, John Barry with his arms at his side, watching him in, in disgust, shaking his head. Ryder with 16. Barry didn't know what to do with it. Blocked by Jermaine. Barry saves. He'll shoot it. Not this time. And Trent and Sabonis, they scramble for it. Saved inside by Corey Blunt. Rick Fox for three. Now, Lakers right now uh, really spread out, but they're giving themselves extra opportunities. They've had three already, and they will reset right now with Van Exel. Disjointed Lakers right now. Playing a little freelance ball right there. Van Exel defended by Kenny. Switched up on by Trent. Fox left alone. Inside, blunt blocked by Sabonis. Outlet Trent. Ryder can't get there. Van Exel does. This is John Berry. And the deep rebound comes to Kenny Anderson. He's saying, all right, let's settle it down. Now Portland has got a 20-point lead, and they're fortunate in the multiple possessions by the Lakers that the Lakers didn't get a score, but they got the shooting from the outside and under pressure. Ryder thought he got hit on that one. So did I. 83-63, a 20-point Portland lead. 20-point lead. Here's Fox. They're starting to bomb it away from the outside, just trying to get back in the game, and the, the Lakers... Unlike the Bulls, when we saw them here, where they just kind of chiseled away and dissected, Lakers trying to get something going and doing it kind of hurriedly. They're doing a good job on the board. Blocked by Jermaine O'Neal, his second. Ryder, and he made it. And the Blazers by 22. John Barry for the three. Honey comes out, rebounded by Campbell. Blazers leading on the boards, even despite all of the rebounding here in the flurry by the Lakers. 37 to 35, the Blazers a two rebound edge. Now, Del Harris is looking at the scoreboard and he's seeing his team is trying to get back in it with deep shooting. None of the three point field goals going right now. And uh, Mike Dunleavy wants a timeout. 249. Healthy and frisky should be a ball game on front. Yeah, that's that's a big win against Seattle, the team with the best winning record in the NBA. Good. Kelvin Cato in deep to Jermaine. Jump hooking and can't get it. Eldon Campbell, Derek Fisher with the ball, John Berry, Corey Blunt, and Rick Fox out there for the Lakers. They're trying anything down 22 with 222 remaining in the third. Now they're, they're three for 21, and uh, you're not going to get anything done against anybody, only making three field goals in a quarter. Blunt over the top, O'Neal. Jermaine O'Neal with another rebound, and he's got four block shots to go with it. Four blocks for young Jermaine. A breakout night for him off the bench. Ryder fouled by John Berry. Now Ryder with the mid-quarter. Ten in the quarter. Gets fouled on that one. Three free throws coming for him. And uh, <laughs> Dell Harris is trying to lobby. Uh, what about all the fouls at the other end? Uh, this will be a three, three, three free throws for Ryder. Stand for the Blazers. 26 points in 43 minutes. Seven rebounds and five assists. Ryder doing good work. He's got 20 tonight. 12 in the quarter. John Barry still stroking from the outside. Gets a two. John Barry makes it a 22-point Trailblazer lead. The Portland Trailblazers by as many as 24 over the Los Angeles Lakers. 
Uh, one thing we know is that uh, every team has droughts. And if you don't continue to do what got you the lead, you're subject to uh, see the opponent make a run at you. The Trailblazers made a big run at the Lakers in the fourth quarter. You can expect the Lakers to try to make a run now. 143 to go, Ryder back at the free throw line. Eldon Campbell, both teams over the limit. Incidentally, Steve, a research department came up with a little workforce. The 20 free throws attempted by the Blazers in the second quarter, not a club record. The club record for one quarter on free throws attempted, 28, going back to 1976 against the old New Orleans Jazz. Well, there you go, in case you were wondering. We uh, spare no effort to bring you all the information you need on Blazers. Two made free throws. And a big night going here for J.R. Ryder off the bench. He's got 22. Now 14 have come here in the third quarter when the Trailblazers have busted this game open. Uh, Lakers now trying to figure out where to get scores. Looking inside Eldon Campbell. Ryder has scored nine points in a row for the Blazers. And Gary Trent fouled against Eldon Campbell. So Trent gets the foul. Eldon Campbell will go to the line. And I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if uh, Del Harris has thrown the towel in on this thing yet. I, I would doubt it. Uh, he's got an interesting lineup out there. Well, I mean, right now, uh, his team has not shown any kind of consistency uh, in the ball game. They had a very slow first quarter. Didn't look like they were in it. A little th lethargic. Got better in the second. Came out the third very flat. So uh, he knows that uh, unless you get a big run, this one is basically over. Elton Campbell missing both, but the Lakers get the rebound. Fox tries to peel in on Jermaine O'Neal, and the kids got another rebound. So Jermaine with another rebound. Ryder slices and dices and attacks the rack and lays it in. He's got 24. Blazer lead 91-65. Somebody out there is going to see this score and not believe it. Well, the Lakers have had games where suddenly uh, they have been blown out and embarrassed, and then they'll come back and play very dominating basketball. Knocked away, but Campbell picks it back up for the quarter for Eldon Campbell. Oh, well, you've got Kelvin the SWAT man, Cato in there. You've got Jermaine O'Neal, Alvin Williams. Easy with the ball. J.R. Ryder. Gary Trent comes up the base. They throw a ball at his feet. Manages to dig it out. And as he peels it against the crowd, lost it on the way up. Here's John Barron, and he leaves for Rick Fox. Blazers at 12 for 16 from the floor. The quarters are doing a nice job of Gary Trent again inside. And again, Alden Campbell with a foul. That's his second. And the Blazers will be going to the line with 13.7 seconds remaining in the quarter. When you make good, aggressive, early decisions at the offense, and good uh, things happen for you. They kept the Lakers on their heels and reacting. So uh, it's been an outstanding quarter for Portland. You look at the, the numbers for them, 18 points. Uh, they allowed the Lakers, and they got 28. Then they backed it up with 30, and they have just continued to climb on the scoreboard. This is good for the Blazers. They've had an opportunity to rest some of their key people with a big game coming against the Phoenix Suns. And that's coming up on Blazer Vision two nights from now. Top record, as I mentioned more than once, the Lakers right behind Seattle who are beaten tonight. They're now 37-11. And the Lakers, the Blazers trying to make them 34-12. Indiana did win their game tonight. They won their game in a walk. They have a nice team that they put together there in Indiana with Larry Bird and Donnie Walsh, the general manager, and both three throws by Gary Trent. Good. Trent has had a solid quarter himself. Uh, that's a nine of the quarter for Gary Trent. Lakers trying to get it done. Lock shot. Jermaine O'Neal is fifth. That's five for Jermaine. And that's the end of the quarter. And a big quarter for the Portland Trailblazers. Oh, that was some quarter for the Trailblazers who led by three. Uh, doing a very good job of plugging up the middle. You know, you've been talking about SWAT man Cato. They practice together all the time, and Jermaine O'Neal is saying, remember, I can block shots as well, and it's done a great job of being the saver for Portland. 
and uh, that certainly should get the attention of Mike Dunley. Blazers outscoring the Lakers 35 to 14 in the third quarter, lead 93-69. And Steve, they do it by shooting 75 percent from the floor. The Lakers only 22 percent, six of 27, and that nice. 12-0 run, got it going, and again, doing what they did in the first quarter with that good pressure defense and really taking the life out of the Lakers in the third. Now, they were very aggressive in, in attacking them at the third quarter shooting percentage. Awesome. And uh, any time you can hold it to down to 22%, and, uh, you know, you're hoping your 50, the Trailblazers, were at 75. Uh, Kobe Bryant and O'Neal come back in to start the fourth quarter along with Eldon Campbell. Down to Rasheed, draws the double. Look out, Kenny on top. Nice play to get the ball back. Alvin Williams with a two. Oh my. And the shots just keep coming. Like the hits used to come in the record business. Now, the, the Trailblazers can't relent in terms of their aggressiveness. They can't suddenly let the Lakers, who can explode for 35, 40 points themselves, uh, to start to build some confidence. We know Portland has had some droughts. Uh, they, they, they don't want to allow the Lakers to get back in the game, start feeling some pressure. So move the ball, move people, continue to attack. No time to get phlegmatic, if I may use the word, as Rasheed busts across the boulevard and hits that little floater. He's got 16, 97 to 71. What happened? He got really loggy, really. Kind of like nothing's happening. <laughs> On the miss by Kobe Bryant. And Alvin Williams tough to the rack. He's got two quick hoops here in the fourth. Not a bad second round draft choice right there. He's got nine for the night, and the Blazers again by 28. I think as a team, at least the Trailblazers were embarrassed by their effort down in Los Angeles. They've come out the way you have to play against the Lakers uh, and done a lot of very positive things. Lakers will get the ball back. Shaquille O'Neal trying to feed a cutting. Ellen Campbell, 14 on the shot clock. Yeah, but Alvin Williams was right there to break it up. Boy, their four All-Stars had 58 points in the All-Star game. But tonight, they've not been able to deliver for the Lakers. Of course, Eddie Jones not here. Tough pass. Alvin comes out of there with it. Back to Kenny, who made the pass to start and then gets the three to finish the play. Oh, my goodness. 15 points for Kenny Anderson. 102-71, a 31-point lead. Who the fuck it, huh? Kobe to the rack, and a three-point play opportunity on the way. So with the Trailblazers with a, a big advantage here with 10 minutes to play, I'm sure that what they're thinking is, we got one more game with these guys, and uh, they're going to try to bounce back. But what Portland can't afford to do right now is give the Lakers the idea that they can close and close very quickly. 15 foul, I mean the fifth foul against Rasheed Wallace, first team foul, and uh, Rain O'Neal back in the ball game. Well, let's go back to something that happened in L.A. the other night when the Blazers were out of it in the fourth quarter, and they came in with these young legs, and they outscored the Lakers 41-28. Yeah, Jermaine is out there now getting a chance to do some things with Kelvin Cato, Kenny Anderson, Alvin Williams, and Vincent Askew. So... Three guys with real young legs. The other one's not all that old. And Askew is called for the foul on the driving Kobe Bryant. Showboat, they call it. On the foul number 17, Vincent Askew. Quick stop and go move by Kobe Bryant. And Askew, knowing he's in trouble, reaches out and grabs him uh, before he can get the shot in the air. So they'll inbound uh, the ball on the side. Now they have. Uh, Mario Bennett out there with this group, Fisher and John Barry and Shaquille O'Neal. Well, uh, they've gone almost totally away from Shaq at this point in the ball game. He's asking for the ball from Kobe Bryant. Stolen. Got it back. Alvin almost had it. Back to John Barry. They've had opportunities and they can't make it work. Kenny deflects to ask you. Back to Alvin Williams. He'll slow it up. Hey, showing some poise. Alvin Williams. Slices in from the weak side. Jermaine gets the ball and then throws it right into the hands of Kobe Bryant. His first mistake of the night. And Mario Bennett is fouled by Kenny Anderson. So with 9-17 remaining in the fourth quarter, the Blazers sitting on top of a 29-point lead. Turnover, the Lakers run. That's what they like to do. 
reach in foul. So uh, Kenny Anderson's third, third team. Uh, Mario, Woman doesn't want to give the Lakers anything. A couple more fouls, he's shooting free throws the rest of the way. Uh, this is the guy that really struggled with his free throw, Mario Bennett. Mario Bennett makes the first, and if you like another kind of ball, how about arena football? The Portland Forest Dragons, arena football returns. You call them, 297-2255. 297-2255. Call and order season tickets now for the arena guys. One Bennett two. misses the second, and Jermaine has his eighth rebound of the game. And Jermaine is uh, establishing some new season highs here tonight. Block shots has five of those as Kenny tries to penetrate and then one hand pass it and it's deflected and knocked out of bounds by the, the Lakers so the Blazers with a 11 seconds on the shot clock will bring it back. And 9.03 remain here in the fourth quarter. Blazer vision from Phoenix. That comes up on Thursday night, 6 o'clock. Jermaine O'Neal, rebound Shaquille O'Neal, no relation. Now, attitude has a lot to do with whether you, you, you play the game with uh, aggressive authority. And, uh, you know, the Lakers came in here tonight a little lethargic. The Trailblazers, angry, certainly came with the right attitude, have been the aggressors, have been attacking, and that's what they're going to have to carry forward through the second half of the season. Kobe Bryant trying to make it happen on his own, gets down the lane, gets a foul. That is a fourth team foul. So Bryant is stopping the clock for the Lakers. Not casting them on the free throw. What's the first? Steve, I, I guess it uh, begs the question when you look at the, the Lakers and where they've been. 14 of the last 18 games have been at home. The Kobe file is a, certainly an impressive one. But this is a Laker team now that has two long Eastern trips ahead of them. They play Seattle three times. Two against Phoenix. Two against San Antonio. Two against... You've got to win those games. Kobe will add many more lines to that file that you just saw. He makes one of two on the free throws, 102.75, Ryder. Not this time. And Jermaine O'Neal gets his ninth rebound. Blazers shooting 75% in the third quarter, built the big lead. Ryder double. Deflected Alvin, 13 seconds on the shot clock. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Jermaine O'Neal with the fake and the foul. That's what you do when you're down there in the tall timber. You're down there like a, a little pine tree amongst the sequoias, and you got to fake them and take it up. Now Kobe Bryant said, look here, guys, and we've seen him do this before. The Trailblazers has him down huge in the ball game. Uh, in the playoffs last year, he gathered everybody around and said, look, we're embarrassing ourselves. Let's go. Five fouls against Shaquille O'Neal. Jermaine O'Neal, Steve, with a career-high 10 rebounds here tonight. And with that, five block shots. And makes the first. Cato coming out of the ball game. Sabonis so comes back in. Mike Dunleavy's got to be a happy fellow tonight as the SWAT man takes a seat. Jermaine with Arvidas and Kenny, Alvin Williams and uh, the easy man, easy rider out there with uh, Bryant, Shaquille, Mario Bennett, Barry Fisher, and John Barry out there for the Lakers. Barry logging big minutes tonight. No Eddie Jones, no Brian Grant. Bryant all the way to the rack with a honey of a move. Yeah, he's a beauty. He's got only seven points, however, tonight. He's averaging about 18 a game coming in. Now well, he's been down with foul trouble most of the night. Never really got a good rhythm, but he's the kind of guy that you go for 15 or 20 and a quarter, so you can't let him bust loose looking for Sabonis down low. Arvidas looking to make the baseline pass to Jermaine. Jermaine not used to that, so uh, what happens is, is they get the ball back, and, and now you've got a 740 remaining, and the Lakers have cut it to 25. What Portland can't do again is get casual. There's, there's a lot of time, and if you just continue to play, you win the ball game. You win it comfortably. If you start taking any shot and, and uh, allow the Lakers to get a rhythm, start running the ball up the floor, uh, they all tack, they'll hurt you. O'Neal, that is Shaquille Anderson. 
And uh, Dunley, he calls a timeout, and he's talking to J.R. Ryder. He's saying, come on, J.R., don't force the shot. There's a big lead. Experience to remember. Kenny off the double, Rashid in the backcourt. Here's the Brunson burner. Got Rick Brunson in the game. 19 in the fourth quarter against the Lakers on Wednesday night. They're probably saying, oh my goodness, this guy. As uh, Arvidas has it deflected on the way up, thought there was a goal tending or goal interference, and Bryant missing. And the Blazers still got it. Knocked him off the ball. He went up to throw it down. Oh. What? Arvidas. He dropped a Lithuanian hammer on him that time. A 10-point game for Sabonis and the Blazers by 25 with 6.25 left. Look. Well, I mean, I mean, this guy, this guy, O'Neal, just knocking people over like 10 pins. And now a frustrated Laker team starts shoving and pushing. And uh, Alvin Williams got knocked down. And so uh, the coaches are out there, uh, and Mario Bennett and Alvin Williams went to it, and Alvin Williams won't let it go. Mike Dunleavy out there and Shaquille O'Neal's face to his chest. So <laughs> Dunleavy out there screaming at Shaquille O'Neal. All right, so there'll be a Laker at the line, and it'll be the largest Laker. 106-81. Of course, the one thing you fear when a game gets like this, where it's been a, a blowout proportions, is that somebody might get hurt. You don't want that to happen. Well, O'Neal, with one of these free throws, will become the ninth quickest. 106-82. The Trailblazers with a nice lead. With the heat, the Brunson burner is picked. Kobe Bryant down Broadway. And the follow jam by the little man, Kobe Bryant. I wonder how big he's going to be before it's over. His dad was a little stringier. Kobe at 210 now and 6'5 uh, or thereabouts. But he could go to 6'7, 6'8 before it's over. Jelly Bean had pretty good size. Kenny with a pull up off the glass. His dad was named Jelly Bean Joe Bryant, in case you didn't know. Fisher for a trade. Splash. 108-87. Blazers by 21. 547 remaining. And the wireless stats tell you something. Blazers not good. Blazers a little better. The one thing the Blazers want to do is just keep the clock running. So keep making basketball plays. And uh, if you're going to have the clock stop, have it stop on a scoring attempt that you're in the floor. Uh, a turnover, the Lakers point their way. The official says no, Portland will get it back four on the shot clock. Deflected by the Lakers. Blazers won't have much time to think and pull the trigger. Trigger. Or something like that, and Alvin threw the ball away. And here's Kenny with a reach around foul. So Kenny Anderson has his fourth. Blazers uh, well over the foul limit. Went over with 6.31, so penalty time from now on. Some folks that are wearing laser Laker jerseys in the notch 108 89. 526 remaining. 11 points for Fisher. And the Lakers have been getting with some turnovers here in the fourth quarter of play. Fisher up and in. So that's seven quick points for Fisher. Well, that 32 point lead looked pretty good. But now it's 108 91. Alvin handles the double. Well, what what Portland doesn't want to do is become tentative against the pressure. Pass the ball, cut to the basket, you're going to get some easy scores. Brunson had that one knocked away. And Rasheed, who made his first six field goals of the game, comes up dry. Wallace with 16 for the night, 13 in the first quarter. And Jermaine O'Neal trying to bring the backboard down. Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, it's, pardon me, Shaquille O'Neal. Hey, there's plenty of time left in this game, folks. It's a 15-point ball game. And all of a sudden, the Blazers getting a, a little lethargic out there. We know that they're capable of having lapses, and they're one of them right now. So uh, this is a big possession for the Lakers. Lap for three. Now, guess what? It is now a 12-point ball game with 4.38 to play, and the lead was 32. And here's where you really got to call on your professionalism. You got to go out there and hammer them while they're down. 108-96, Portland timeout. Back here, past Jerry West and becoming 
the ninth fastest of all time uh, of all time. Kenny and the Blazers getting a little careless with the ball and trying to hang on right now. That, that, that opportunity that Kenny has just passed up is going to have to take this kind of lead. You don't want to become tentative. You don't want to then just play the clock. Uh, you've got to continue to score the ball. The other team is coming at you now, and you've got to rekindle your offensive energy. A 21-4 run. Uh, that, that makes any team think that they still have a shot at winning with four and a half to play. Kenny and Brunson, Rasheed Wallace, Sabonis, and Alvin Williams for the Blazers. And even though Shaq has got five fouls, they're going to come to him. That's it for Sabonis. He's done with 4-0-4 to play. That's not good. Well, Arvidas is gone with a score of 108-96. And this game is yet to be determined. The final outcome. That sentence around in a different way. The final outcome is yet to be determined, which is obvious. But nonetheless, the point being that they're on a 21-4 run, and they've done that. They've cut into this lead big time. And Shaquille O'Neal picks a bad time to hit a free throw. 108-97. Ten-point ball game with 404. Wow. And you got a foul called here on Mario Bennett. That's only their second team foul, however. Second team foul. Only the second team foul for the Lakers, so they can be very aggressive at the defensive end. That's what they're trying to do. What Portland's got to do, pass the ball against the pressure, cut to the hoop, get back to getting that high percentage stuff. Don't become tentative and worry about the shot clock. Important phrase, don't become tentative. And Rasheed Wallace trying to keep it alive. Look at Gary Trent hustle, and they've got the ball and trailing by 10. 3.39 to play. John Barry and Bryant high, but O'Neal's got it. What do do? Try and put it down and take it to the basket? Now O'Neal says, clear out and let them get the ball to me. Well, that's not a good matchup for uh, Wallace, and they go outside to Bryant. That's a three, and it's a seven-point ball game. 13 in the quarter for Kobe Bryant. This baby should have been packed away a long time ago. This is some comeback by the Lakers in the fourth quarter. Alvin Williams, Blazers, outscored 23 to 4. And a steal by the Lakers with 250 to play and a seven-point Portland lead. You know, Rick Brunson will get called for the foul, and they're going to put Kobe Bryant at the foul line. Illegal defense. Or illegal defense, excuse me. One of the things that Shaquille O'Neal has complained about is the Lakers lacking a killer instinct. Well, the Blazers are doing some of that right now. They better get with it because they got a, a seven-point lead and two All started standing, and uh, they've hurt themselves. Now they go to O'Neal. Ryan has got the, uh, he's got a little torch going, and down they go in deep. And that's Mario, Mario Bennett. Bennett. And it's 108-103 with 222 to play in the ball game. You see, they're, they're starting to step back instead of go forward, and that's a sign you don't like. Trap against Wallace. And a little early with that shot goes Rasheed Wallace. And with 2.05, Kobe challenges. And the follow on the miss, and the Blazers get lucky and get the rebound here, because the Lakers were right at the rim for two shots. Up to Gary Trent. They need it. They can't get it. And O'Neal's got it. And we have 150 remaining in the fourth quarter. And this is a five-point ball game. Oh, they're going to go back into O'Neal. The Trailblazers are going to trap. Bryant to Fisher for three. And a big rebound by Rick Brunson and a foul on the back by John Barry. 108 to 103. John Barry is third. John Barry trying to make a save coming in from deep. Picks up the foul, but they had a foul to give. 
So uh, the Trailblazers don't shoot free throws. Five point game. Now you got to play with some authority. Be aggressive and assertive. Pass the basketball attack. Penalty situation coming up. You can get a score from the line. Don't hold the basketball. Vincent Askew wide open. No. Long rebound. Askew's got it. Tries it again. Good! Vincent Askew. I ask you, was that a big shot or was it? Well, I give them the two, yeah, they do. Missed the first shot and uh, the ball came right back to him and uh, was able to get it up and down. Now a chance for a three-point play. So uh, the unlikely heroic play of Askew may be the save of the day. He's got one to make it a three-point play. The Lakers with a lot of wind in their sails here in the fourth quarter. That point play. That's why you have to play 48 minutes in the NBA. You never can tell when you're going to go dead and the other team's going to get scalding hot. A trap Fisher. 111 to 103. Blazers. 103 to play in the game. Bryant lost the ball off his foot. That's a deflection, so the Lakers have it with two seconds on the shot clock. They call timeout. Ron Garretson, the official, was back there. They said that that ball was deflected, so they'll get two seconds. A lost control of the ball may or may not have hit Askew. Couldn't see from that angle, but Kobe makes a mistake here by calling a timeout. Now they've got to come 90 feet. One more look at it from up high. Look like uh, Kobe Bryant is the guy that just lost control of the ball. Steve, they have two timeouts remaining. The Trailblazers have two in the 20, should they opt to use them. Quick look, some other scores. Pacers 85, Magic 66. Mavericks lose to the, the Nets 90 to 81. Rockets beat the Seattle Supersonics 94 to 79. The Bucks trying to hang on. I don't have a final. That one should be over by now. They lost to the Hawks. They in front of you. Mario Bennett looking like a quarterback, and they get the ball back. And O'Neal has it blocked, gets it up. No! Rasheed Wallace and Vincent Askew hanging on. Big defensive effort by Rasheed, and then Askew helps him out. And now we're under 40 seconds to play in an eight-point lead. Well, what a comeback by the Lakers. Kenny pinched on the side, shovels it inside. Gary Trent in the crowd. Blocked and fouled on the play. The Bulls win tonight, Steve. Nine yes. Go to Kobe Bryant. They're trying to make something happen real quick. A foul. And again, that's what you don't want. You don't want the clock to stop. Even though you got a 10 But the turnovers hurt as much as anything, Steve, allowing the Lakers to get back in it. And Bryant now has trimmed the lead again, 113-105. They're going to foul. They're going to try to stop the clock at every, every time uh, because what they've got to do to get possession of the basketball. Portland should try to get it in, move it around, not let the Lakers get to them, get out of here, and uh, call it a day. John Perry with 33 minutes tonight. That uh, um, got to be a season high, I would think, for Dell Harris and the Lakers. There's uh, a little bit different tonight than they were against the Lakers on Wednesday night. 48 to 39 percent, 75 percent in the third quarter. Alvin with two, Bryant for a three, and the Blazers have it. Yeah, and uh, the Lakers are starting to circle the drain, folks. This baby is just about history. 115 to 105. The Blazers with a 10-point lead in 14.5 seconds remaining here in regulation. And the boys will ready themselves for the trip to the Valley of the Sun. We'll have that game for you on Blazer Vision. Make your plans, call your cable company, and uh, pay for you. Join us on Thursday night, then right back here again on Friday night against the Houston Rockets. Now, if you remember what happened Wednesday, the Laker guards dominating 51 26, a little different tonight. Of course, you take Eddie Jones' 28 points out of that uh, 51 points. And You've got a big difference, and Ryder has been uh, the dominant man in the third quarter for the Blazers tonight. And Alvin Williams has 14 points for the night. Ah, done another terrific job, and the Blazers will be 8-1 when Alvin has been in the starting lineup. He started for Ryder, who was late getting to the game. Now, this is when you give him a score. All you want is possession. Gary Trent <laughs> well, took him, but the game is over. And the ball game is in the books. 
And the Blazers getting off to a good start for their three games and four nights set with Phoenix and Houston. To the size advantage that is available for them keeping the pressure.